tuning into the Philip Scott Show. My name is Danielle DeVita. I am a proud contributor. I have a post from Cora. Again, as I mentioned, I'll be doing some posts that came questions that came in from Cora. And one of the questions is the following. Would a guy leave a girl because she only has sex after marriage? And one of the responses is, which guy? Some guys will only date women who have sex before marriage. Some will only date guys who will wait until marriage for sex. Different guys want different things. In general, if you live in a culture where premarital sex is the norm, you can expect that most guys will not remain in a relationship with someone. Um, so looking at this question, and I'm going to answer it in both a woman who is waiting later into the relationship or into after marriage, um, if a guy would stay in a committed relationship with her. So this woman wants to know, will, you know, will she be able to be in a relationship Um a committed relationship if the guy knows that she doesn't want to have sex till she's ma married or in some cases for women who just want to wait a longer period of time. Some women find it hard to be in a relationship, um, stay in a relationship because once the guy finds out he leaves, typically those guys are, some of them are only in it for just that. But if you find someone who you guys, the chemistry is great. They like you. They're going to wait. Now, if they find out that your weight is not just later in a relationship, but until marriage, that's when it opens the door to questions. And I say, if you are planning on waiting, you don't necessarily volunteer the information where you're on your first couple of dates, but it's going to come up because he's going to, um, you're going to be in a predicament where it's going, you guys are going to get a little bit more intimate than you were initially, whether it was just holding hands, it's going to move to the type of kiss that moves to the bedroom. And that's when you can say, I want to wait until marriage, but you guys should have a conversation about sex. Why? Because a lot of people feel that they need to have sex because they want to make sure you're compatible. Well, there is a way to find out if you are compatible. It's called talking, communicating. I'm not understanding why people can talk about what are your values in a relationship? What are your value um, you know, in, in a woman, you can, as a woman, you can ask this question, what are you looking for in a relationship? But later on down the line, you don't ask certain questions such as, you know, I, now I would ask, how do you feel about this relationship? How do you feel about me to know that you're exclusive before you go into this type of questioning? But it would be, how do you feel about sex? Oh, okay. You want to wait? Okay. Tell me why. Um, what are your, what are your thoughts in general about sex? Then you can determine if someone's approved or not. I can let you know, some people may be as a woman, some women can be reserved with one person and not with the other. And it has to do with the level of chemistry. And the reason why is because sometimes people may not be as compatible. You want to be compatible, not just on a physical level, but on a mental level. So it makes for the intimacy to be a lot better when you are compatible in that way. Because let's face it, so many people have mind-blowing intimacy and the relationship goes nowhere. And the only thing to show for it is soul ties, a baby, or STI, right? So it's important that the person that you are trying to be with, you make it clear how you feel about it because they want to make sure they're going into a marriage where they are going to be satisfied. So important that when you're married, that the intimacy is there. You want to be intimate in your marriage. That's highly important, especially for a lot of people. I know many people think that you're not going to be intimate um, in marriage because that's how it is, but that's not true. There's many people who are married and they have, you know, mind blowing intimacy. Okay. And they may have waited or they may actually have had, you know, had intercourse before, but the whole point is you talk about how you feel about it. You talk about, do you like BDSM? How do you, how, what pleases you? What do you like? Or, you know, do you like these things and that, like, this is something you can talk about. Now, if you're uncomfortable, then maybe the relationship, you're not as, you know, where you need to be in a relationship or that person is not the one that makes you comfortable. Think about all these things. Let's start talking, people, and stop, you know, playing these games um, and withholding and all of all of that. Two can play that game happened in 2000. Let that stay in 2000. 
Let's be in a time where we learn to communicate all of our needs and our wants in, in relationships. That's how you're going to have a healthy relationship, by talking it out. So that's all I have for you. Thanks for tuning in to The Philip Scott Show. You can learn more about um, me on Mrs. Danielle DeVita. I also have a live where participation is encouraged. That's going to be on Saturday, March 19th at 11 a.m. I will open up to a panel so everyone can participate and I will have a guest. Stay tuned.